Now, and up a bit later than usual, Scotland's very own Queen of Breakfast TV, Lorraine Kelly, hosts the brand new quiz show, The Cash Machine. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. Meet the world's most generous ATM. It contains thousands of pounds just waiting to be withdrawn. But if you want to win, you have to crack the pin. This is The Cash Machine. Welcome to the show. Today, four teams fight it out to withdraw as much money as they can from the cash machine. The pair who bank the least in each round will be eliminated. Only one team can make it through to the end and get the chance to crack the final pin and withdraw their money. So, let's see who's playing. Well, on today's show, we have mother and daughter, Nicole and Beverly. Friends, Fraser and Chris, married couple David and Donna, and finally, pals and colleagues, Ali and Gemma. Good luck to all of you. <laughs> well, in a moment, you will get the chance to take on the cash machine. To do that, you have to answer a buzzer question. These questions have a two-part answer, so you both need to answer correctly. Let's play round one. Right, everyone, fingers on buzzers. Here is your first question. In golf, which two teams compete in the Ryder Cup? Did Europe. And Donna? America. Yes, Europe and the United States. Well done, well done. You are first up to play the cash machine. So, husband and wife. Yes. Both estate agents. Yep. Yes. How did you meet? Uh, in the office. <laughs> oh, lovely! So together. it was an office on romance. <laughs> oh, on the job. <laughs> <laughs> but office romances sometimes can be a wee bit awkward if you fall out. But was it okay? It was. No, it was pretty Everybody awkward was when struggle. we fell out. Yeah. <laughs> was it? Yeah. But it worked out in the end. Yes. It absolutely did. Okay, it's great to see you here. Good luck. Thank you. And off we go. Here is how this is going to work. In this round, I'll put a thousand pounds into your account. To crack the pin, you'll have to answer four questions. The answer to each question is a number in that pin code. And you need to be quick because your money drains away while you are playing. And it only stops when you answer correctly. Get a question wrong four times and you'll be locked out of your account. Let's play the cash machine. Right, let's have a look at your categories. Here we go. We have DIY, currency, fish, <laughs> And <laughs> historic buildings. Think? Quite a range. Um, what are you thinking? Well, currency, I'm quite... I like, I like money, but I don't know a lot about like money. Or <laughs> currency. Fish, I like to eat fish, but... <laughs> I'll go for currency. OK. OK, you've gone for currency. There we go. Let's have a look at your options. We have... A punt. Dollar. Krona. Peso. Cologne, Mark, Forint, Gilder, Bat, and Escudo. OK, here we go. Here is your first question. Which of these was the currency of the Netherlands immediately before it joined the euro? Start the money drain. I don't think that's right. You've gone for the Gilder, but you're saying you don't think it's right? No. OK, why did you go for that one, then? Um, a well <laughs> guess, to be honest. It was a guess. It was yeah. a guess. OK, no. shall we have a look yeah. and see if it's right? Here we go. Is the Gilder correct? Yes, you've done it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I did know it. I was only kidding. <laughs> right, here we go. You're off to a good start. Which of these is a long, flat-bottomed boat? Start the money, Jane. Oh, right. Oh, bat. 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 Sounds like a boat. Like sounds like a boat. You've gone for bat. Sounds boatish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is a bat Maybe like corona. a long, mm. flat bottomed boat? Oh, no. 
no, start the money drain, have another go. Wait, I think, try that. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> a krona. Could the krona be a flat-bottomed boat? No, start the money drain, have another go. <laughs> well, <Wildly guessing. laughs> Yeah, we're just going to process right, of elimination. Okay, OK. Is it a punt? <laughs> okay, you're halfway there. You've still got £800. You're doing just fine. <laughs> Which of these was the name of a pop duo who had a 1979 hit with Love's Got a Hold on Me? Start the money drain. Quick, quick, quick. OK. The pop duo, Mark. <laughs> OK. Oh, <I'm> so. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if oh. that's right. It's not start the money drain, off you go, have another guess. Dollar, you say. OK. You feeling better <laughs> so, about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. OK, did Dollar have a 1979 hit with Love's Got a Hold On Me? Oh. Yes, well done. <laughs> well done. You've still got 715 in the bank. You've only got one more to get right to complete your pin. Here is your final question. What's the official currency of Hungary? Oh. The money drain's going. Any ideas? Quick, quick, quick. Foreign. Foreign. Who said foreign? <laughs> Whose idea was that? That was my idea. It was your idea, so it's all down to you, isn't yes. it, David? All right, then. What's the official currency of Hungary? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to be good, just need to be lucky. <laughs> You've banked £655. That's now, of course, the target to beat. You can have a little rest and relax. Everyone else, fingers on buzzers. Let's see if you can beat that target of £655 set by David and Donna to stay safe. Here's your first question. Which parts of the body feature in a brand of anti-dandruff shampoo launched in 1961, Beverly? Head. And Nicole? Shoulders. Head and shoulders is absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> so you are mum and daughter. You look fabulous. Thank are you good you. pals? Yeah, we are actually. Yeah, um, that's really important. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who's going to be the boss? <laughs> Definitely Nicole. Yeah. Yes. Right, OK, that's, that's good. <laughs> and you own horses, yeah. both of you. Yeah. Yeah. How many horses? 40. Wow. Clydesdales. <laughs> are they really gentle? They're lovely. Yeah. Oh. They are gentle giants. Like gentle that. giants. Yeah. Nicole and Beverly, are you all set? Yes. yes. OK, let's play the cash machine. You know how this works. A thousand pounds is going into your account with a target to beat of 655 pounds. Let's have a look again to remind ourselves of the categories. We've got DIY, currency is gone, fish and historic buildings. What one of those do you fancy? Fish, I think. Oh, go fish. for fish, yeah. Go for fish? Oh, yeah, yeah. why have you decided on that? Oh, it's a lesser of the other two evils, I think. <laughs> OK. Let's have a look at your options. Here we go. We have mackerel, haddock, pilchard, catfish, hake, tuna, roach, pollock, flounder and salmon. OK, how are you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> oh, a little bit nervous. That's OK, that's allowed. OK, here we go. Here's your first question. Skipjack and yellowfin are types of which fish start the money drain? Tuna. That was very quick. Yes. Feeling pretty confident about that? Well, let's have a look and see if it's right. It is indeed. Well done, off to a really good start and £980 still in your account. Here we go. Which fish is traditionally used to make the Scottish soup Cullen Skink? Start the money drain. Oh, okay. Two. Ooh, another quick answer. You've got haddock in there. Something you've made? No, but no, my dad like it. No, my other half makes it. I don't cook. Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I approve heartily. I taste. OK, me too. Which fish is traditionally used to make Cullen skink? Is it haddock? <laughs> it is. Halfway there. And still on £935, doing incredibly well. OK, 
Which of these is a term for a person who pretends to be someone else online? Oh, oh Catfish. Catfish? Yes. OK, let's see if that's correct. Yes. Well done, Nicole. I think you knew that one, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> You've got £900 still in your account. Just one more answer to complete the pin. Which of these is the name of an American abstract painter born in 1912? Start the money drain. Oh. Oh, Beverly, you were right in there. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you know the answer I for this I think it's Jackson one? Pollock. I think it's Jackson Pollock. I hope it's Jackson Pollock. <laughs> okay. Well, if it is, you're in a very, very good position with £870. That'll mean you're safe. So, which of these is the name of that American abstract painter born in 1912? Is it Pollock? That's very impressive. You have banked £870. You're safe. David and Donna, mm, in the danger zone. But we just have to wait and see how everyone else gets on. Right. Only two teams left, and this is your last chance to get a choice of category. <laughs> the target to beat is £655. <laughs> OK, fingers back on buzzers. Here's your question. What are the first names of the tennis champion Williams sisters? <laughs> Ali. Venus. And Gemma. Serena. Venus and Serena is absolutely <laughs> right. Well done. <laughs> so you're really good mates, been mm -hmm. friends for a long, long time? Uh, for about four years since I began vet nursing training, um, Gemma was my coach um, for, for vet nursing. So we've, um, we've known each other for that amount of time. And I suppose during the day, in your work clothes, you've got scrubs on, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, you have to. So do you enjoy getting dressed up, going out? Yeah, absolutely. We're total girly girls. So yeah. anything, hair, makeup, shoes, we're there. <laughs> yeah. You say you're girly girls, but are you competitive? Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> So you really want Your to side. win this. You yeah. really want to go on the for same it. team. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. So you all set? Yeah. yeah. Already? Okay. <laughs> Let's play the cash machine. A thousand pounds in your account to play for, and a target of six hundred and fifty-five pounds to beat. Let's remind ourselves of the categories that are left. It's between DIY and historic buildings. I think DIY. DIY? DIY? Yeah. OK, why not? Give it a go. <laughs> DIY. Let's have a look at your options. Here we go. Tape measure, drill, saw, pliers, hammer, screwdriver, chisel, mallet, spanner and nail. Use them a lot? <laughs> no. <laughs> OK. Here we go. The name of which tool comes from the German for draw tight? Start the money drain. You've gone for a screwdriver. So what happened there? I panicked and put tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> and we're overruled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's an interesting one, isn't it? But the name of which tool comes from the German for draw tight? Is it a screwdriver? Start the money drain, try again. Need to be quick though. Pliers. 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 Okay, you've gone for pliers. Let's see if pliers are correct. No, keep trying, but the money's Spanner. running away. Spanner. Another guess. Spanner, you've gone for. Now, is that a guess? Yeah. Total guess. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see <laughs> if Spanner is right. in the pin. You've got £825 still. Have You'll have to be quick because <laughs> the money does drain away very, very quickly. You've got to get better than 655 OK? Here's your next question. Which of these follows Rusty in the name of a cocktail made with Scotch and Drambuie? <laughs> Going for nail. Is that the correct answer? Still £805 in your account. Here we go. 
Which of these is the surname of the Towie star Tommy? Mallet. You watch right. Towie? It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Tommy Mallet. Is it you? Okay, so you've still got £790 in your account. You just need one more correct answer to complete the pin. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. What type of tool is known as a misery whip? Start the money drain. Quick, quick, quick. Must be, yeah. <laughs> yeah for a tape wait, yeah. measure. Now, what's the thinking there? Well, it... I'm miserable when I put it around yeah, me. So... <laughs> <laughs> makes you miserable. Yeah. But I suppose it could be used as a whip. Yeah. That makes kind of sense. <laughs> Let's see if it's right. No, have another go. Hammer. Is hammer would bang it. Correct. No, try again. Mm -hmm. Quick, quick, quick. This is your third guess. You've only got one more okay. up your sleeve. Okay. You're getting dangerously close okay. to £655 that was banked by David and Donna. Let's see if drill is right. So. No, you have to be really quick. You've gone for saw. <laughs> Ooh, £685. Ooh, this is very close. <laughs> oh. OK, that was your last chance. If this is right... It's looking good, but if it's wrong, that's it. You go down to zero. <laughs> Let's see. You have banked six hundred and eighty-five pounds, and Yay. safely through to the next round <laughs> alongside Nicole and Beverly, David and Donna. I'm afraid still in the danger zone. We'll just have to wait and see, because now. Fraser and Chris, let's see if you can bank more than that target of £655 to get through to the next round. So you're pals? Yes. How long have you been pals? 20 years. Wow, you must have met when you were tiny. Primary school. Primary school. Primary school. Isn't that yeah. wonderful that you're pals at primary school and you're still friends today? Can't get rid of each other. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good, isn't it? Somebody that you've got so much yeah. shared history with. Of course. Absolutely. It's really, really good. Are you ready to play? Yes. OK. Let's play the cash machine. Now, guys, you have been left with the one nobody wanted. Historic buildings. That's all that is left. How are you feeling about that? Would I maybe I went for a historic Oh, building. well, it's worked out OK. Fingers it's crossed. worked out OK. <laughs> Shall we have a wee look at your options? Let's do it. Here we go. We have Willerton Hall, Chatsworth House, Longleat House, Blenheim Palace, Annick Castle, Stirling Castle, Balmoral Castle, Castle Howard, Schoon Palace and Windsor Castle. OK, first up, here we go. Where was Robert the Bruce crowned in 1306? Start the money drain. Quick, quick, quick. OK, right. Was Robert the Bruce crowned in Stirling Castle? It's not it's start cool. the money drain. Make another guess. Balmoral Castle you've gone for. Are you feeling quite confident about that? Uh, I've, uh, my, 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 my castle knowledge is slightly lacking. Right. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not sure at all. Don't no. stay in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see if that's right. Was Robert the Bruce crowned in Balmoral Castle in 1306? <laughs> no, the money drain goes. Ah. You have gone for Annick Castle. This is your third goal, remember? You've only got one after this. Was Robert the Bruce crowned in Annick Castle? <laughs> no, money is going last answer is Blenheim Palace. Why have you gone for Blenheim Palace? I think it was a panic move. A panic move? But you know what? I've panicked in a lot of situations and it's worked out pretty well, so... OK. <laughs> you, you, you never know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. <laughs> OK, well, if Blenheim Palace is correct, you can continue to play the game, but obviously you've used up all your four guesses, so if it's wrong, you're out. 
Let's have a look. Where was Robert the Bruce crowned in 1306? Was it Blenheim Palace? No, it was actually Schoon Palace Schoon in 1306. I didn't know well, that one. <laughs> never going to forget that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, what a shame we've got to say bye bye to you. That's really sad because you've been so lovely. You really have. Have you had a good time? Absolutely. It's been a good Absolutely. day. I'm glad yeah. you've had a good day because that's what it's all about. Thank you, Fraser and Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, at the end of that round, Nicole and Beverly banked £870, Ali and Gemma banked £685, and David and Donna, £655. <laughs> OK, it's time for a quick break. Now, when we come back, our three remaining teams will be hoping to add more money to their account. See you in a few minutes. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. No matter how much you clean, do odours still linger in your home? That's because your home is filled with soft surfaces that trap odours and release them back into the room. So try Febreze Fabric Refresher. Febreze penetrates into fabrics to clean odours away as it dries. Use Febreze every time you tidy up to keep your whole house smelling fresh air clean. Fabric Refresher even works for clothes you want to wear another day. Make Febreze part of your cleaning routine. <sighs> and breathe happy. Make your own paprika burgers with our Tesco finest Aberdeen Angus beef. Food Love Stories, brought to you by Tesco. Scotland has a champion. A champion for the injured, for the unfairly treated at work, for those who have suffered accidents, a local champion who will fight for your claim and maximum compensation with a guarantee of no win, no fee. A champion that is always there for you, whenever you need them. Quantum Claims. Don't settle for less. So, Jenny. Oops, I nearly dropped my phone. This Felix suit looks absolutely amazing. Ah, this one is with chicken and a yummy broth. And judging by a certain rascal's behaviour, it tastes pretty good too. Felix Soup. Irresistibly tasty any time of the day. Purina. The Cash Machine. Sponsored by Quantum Claims. Accident Claim Specialists. Welcome back to The Cash Machine. Fraser and Chris were eliminated before the break, so now only three teams remain. Nicole and Beverly, David and Donna, and Ali and Gemma. So, Nicole and Beverly, how are you feeling? Bit awesome. Better. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get one under your belt, it's yeah, a lot better, yeah. isn't it? So, David and Donna, how are you doing? Um, feel oh. lucky. Yeah, <laughs> good. Close. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. close, wasn't it? Really close. You did really well on the currencies, though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I preferred some of the other ones, but yeah. Yeah, we're that's, here, so that's amazing. You are, you are, and that's <laughs> absolutely right. So, Ali and Gemma did very well. Thank you. <laughs> Bit of luck. <laughs> well, that's it. You've got to have some luck sometimes. But sometimes you can just make it. It's like making an intelligent guess. Yeah. OK, well, let's play round two. Well, in this round, I'm going to put £2,000 in the bank. So every question is worth twice as much. But as the money goes up, the game does get tougher. You'll still need to find four numbers in the pin but now you have to get them in the right order too. So, it's back to the buzzers for a chance to take on the cash machine. Which fruits form the cockney rhyming slang for stairs? Ali. Apples. Uh, Gemma. Pears. Apples and pears is absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> OK, so you're first up to play, and this round is a little bit trickier because you need to enter the whole pin sequence correctly okay. to stop the money drain. Enter the wrong pin four times and you bank nothing. Let's play the cash machine. Let's have a look at the categories. We've got the human body, mountains and time. What do you think? 
Mm, and thinking are not about, yeah, definitely not mountains. I would go the human, human body. body as well. We're going to go for the human body, yeah. The human body. OK, here we go. These are your options. Metatarsals, sternum, patella, cranium, tibia, femur, clavicle, pelvis, mandible and tarsals. OK, how are you feeling about that? Well, I we know, know what all. Do. We know what <laughs> they all are. OK, OK. <laughs> so, here's your question. Here are ten parts of the human body. Starting with the one you think is located highest in the skeleton, enter in the correct order the four of these that are located furthest from the feet. Okay, Start the money drain. Cranium, the mandible, mandible in the yep. clavicle. clavicle, it's there. And then and in the sternum. That's um, like your breastbone, isn't yep. it? Yeah. OK, go, go, go. And there you are. You seemed pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of x-rays. Well, I asked you to enter in the correct order the four parts of the body that are located furthest from the feet. If it glows green, it's right. If it's red, it's wrong. But if it turns amber, it's in the pen somewhere. It's just in the wrong place. So let's find out if cranium is right. It is. You're off to a really good start. <laughs> well done, Ali and Gemma. The cranium, then. Where do we find that? Yeah. Of course, <laughs> in our heads. Let's see if mandible is right. It is. <laughs> Halfway there. Halfway there. And the mandible? Job. In your job. job. Absolutely. Is clavicle correct? Oh, girls, you're on a roll. You're on a roll. Your clavicle is it's, right there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely right. Well, if this is right, £1,505, that's a really high target that you will have set. Is the sternum right to complete the pin? Yes. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, though. That is fantastic and well done, but it just shows you luck is a big part, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a very, very high target to beat, £1,505. Not impossible, though, absolutely no. not impossible. Ali and Gemma, take a breather. Thank you. Nicole and Beverly and David and Donna, here is your question. In a standard deck of playing cards, which two suits are usually black? <laughs> Beverly. Clubs. And Nicole? Spades. Clubs and Spades, absolutely right. You are now in play. Let's have a look at those categories again. Well, the human body has gone, but you still have mountains and you still have time. I think time. Yeah, I do. Time? I, yeah. You have chosen time. Let's have a look at your options. You have Bangkok, Athens, Istanbul, Tokyo, Paris, Cape Town, Dubai, Rome, Auckland and Mumbai. And this is your question. Here are ten major cities located in time zones ahead of Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. Starting with the one that you think is the furthest ahead of GMT, enter in the correct order the four that have the greatest time difference. Start the money drain. I think Auckland yeah, first. Yeah, Auckland. Uh, Preston. Um, what do you think? Cape Town. Cape Town. Um, mm. Mm, quick, quick, quick. Dubai. And Bangkok. OK. You've got £1,395 in there. How are you feeling about those choices? I've stopped in three of those places on my way to New Zealand, so I'm hoping. <gasps> I've got a rough idea. OK, of that's a good logical way of thinking. <sighs> so, here we go. You were to enter in the correct order the four cities that have the greatest time difference to GMT. And you have started off with Auckland. Is Auckland right? It is. <laughs> so, off to a good start. Here we go. Is Cape Town correct? and it's not even there. OK, well, let's see if Dubai is right. Uh, uh, 
And what about Bangkok? Amber means it's in there somewhere, but it's just in the wrong place. Make your choice as quick as possible. Here we go, £1,275. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> OK, so we know we've got Auckland. But is Bangkok in the right place? Let's see. No, it's not. Amber means it's in there somewhere, but not in the right place. Let's see if Mumbai is there. It's on the right. It's there, it's there, but it's in the wrong it's place, so that's right. good. You know that it's in there. Yeah. And let's see, what about Tokyo? Oh, oh it's a nice place. Money one. drain is draining away. Yeah. Got to get your answers oh, in there, quick, quick, quick. Oh, it's one. It must be. OK. You have got Auckland, we know, is right. Still got £1,030 in there, doing absolutely fine. Let's see if Tokyo is correct. Yes. It is! It is! <laughs> Halfway there! Hurrah! OK, let's have a look at Bangkok. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, if Mumbai is right, you are banking £1,030. OK, let's see. Mumbai, is that the correct answer? Yes! <laughs> we got there, girls. Well done. Well done indeed. Auckland, Tokyo, Bangkok and Mumbai in that order. So still in the danger zone, though, with £1,030 because Ali and Gemma have got £1,505. So Ali and Gemma... You're safe. Yeah. You're safe. <laughs> you can relax. David and Donna, <sighs> no choice of category. You have been left with mountains, no choice. Would you have gone for mountains? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry. But good luck. Thank you. Good luck Thank to you. you. Remember, the target to beat is £1,030. Let's have a look at your options. Here we go. We have got... Mount Fuji, Ben Nevis, K2, Table Mountain, Mont Blanc, Snowden, Sleeve Denard, Kilimanjaro, Scaffold Pike, and Ingleborough. Okay. How are we feeling? Mm. Well, they look very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I'll go they with are very one. beautiful. OK, here's your question. Starting with the mountain that you think has the greatest height above sea level, enter in the correct order the four that are the highest. Start the money drain. Right, so... K2, Dan mentioned that the other day. Eight. One. Quick, quick, quick. Five. OK, you've gone for K2, Kilimanjaro, Mount Fuji and Mont Blanc. If that's right, you just bounce straight through to the oh, next great. round. Oh, well, yeah, that'd be, yeah. that'd be nice. <laughs> if you're wrong, though, you've got to get in quick because the money drains away really fast and yes. you've got to be better than £1,030. Shall we have a look-see yes, how you've got on? OK. K2, is that the highest? <laughs> well done. Off to a good start. Well done, David and Donna. Kilimanjaro, is that correct? Halfway home. Mount Fuji. <laughs> ah, it's there, but it's not in the right place. Mont Blanc, is that right? <laughs> Money Jane starts. And yeah, you were really, really <laughs> quick off the mark there. I think you knew what you had to do. 1,480. If this is right, well, you go straight through to the final. But let's have a look and see and make it official. Mont Blanc. <laughs> yes, indeed. And I think we know, but let's have a look anyway. Mount Fuji. Well 
done, well done. Well, look, you have banked £1,480 and you are through to the next round with Ali and Gemma. Well done. And Ali and Gemma, of course, on £1,505. So bad luck. Nicole and Beverly, you played so, so well, but you did bank the lowest amount of money which is a real shame, and we're going to have to say bye-bye to you, but it's been lovely. Have you had a good time? Yes, yeah, it's great. Been really Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. You were delightful. It's great Thank to see you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, join us after the break when these guys go head-to-head -head for the chance to get to our big money finale. We'll see you in a few minutes. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. Weekly shop, give it some. Heavy bags, give it some. Same old thing, give it some. Give it some gusto. Classic, le mal. Fragrances by Jean-Paul Gaultier. La belle. Le beau. New Fragrances by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Hartley's Jelly Pots. They can hardly contain themselves. I wish I checked I had my keys. Oh, I wish I checked for pipes. I wish I checked the height. It's always better to check it before you chance it. With Capital One's repayment calculator, you can check how much faster you could pay off your card balance so you don't chance paying more interest than you need to. Repayment calculator. Check it. Don't chance it. Ah, the classic Weetabix. Clever. Get them to eat a bit of Fruitabix. Ah, honey. Got it. Buzzing a Bix. What the. It's just odder Bix. And that is totally bonkers, Abix. Now I'm starving. What's that bowl, Abix? Try it any which way, Abix. McQueen Pink Gin. Available now at Aldi. Disney Cakes and Sweets. Collect everything you need for delicious treats and amazing cakes to share with others. Disney Cakes and Sweets Part 1, 99p. All of our used cars are quality checked, supplied by selected dealers and come with a warranty. So finding a car you'll love is easy. You just need to find somewhere to park it. Find your perfect used car at Haycar. Are you chill enough to fly that? Me? Fly that thing? No! This thing! Everyone's got that one thing they were born to do. Find your force in the RAF. Everyone knows we're little on price, but let's talk about what we're big on. Big on quality, big on zest to impress, big on slicing and dicing, big on the big shop, scrubbing up well and scrubbing up well. Big on hiding award-winning veg and a different five a day, every day. Big on award-winning nappies for happy little chappies. Big on free-range farming. And definitely big on Scottish. Now that is big on quality and always little on price. So much to discover. STV, sponsored by Barbados Food and Rum Festival. Robert Carlyle is Hamish Macbeth. Watch all three seasons of Hamish Macbeth on the STV player. The 
The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. Welcome back to The Cash Machine. Only two teams remain, David and Donna, and Ali and Gemma. So here we are. Yeah. <laughs> How are we all feeling? Shocked. <laughs> no, 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 shocked. So David and Donna, you did really well with mountains. Yeah. yeah. You know, because that was the one nobody went for. Mm -hmm. It just shows you, doesn't it? Yeah, it's in the recesses of your mind, I think, some of the things. Mm, it's like things you've learned at school and then all of a sudden Maybe, you, can, yeah. you can remember them. Now, Ali and Gemma, we know that you work as veterinary nurses and that's how you met. And Gemma, you've got a collection. You like what? <laughs> Gemma, tell us all about your collection. What is it? I collect erasers. <laughs> Why? I've done, I've done it since I was like five years old and it's just continued on. OK. It's very odd. <laughs> right, and are we talking vast quantities of? Yeah, yeah, there's like... Over a thousand. That is quite remarkable. OK, let's move on to round three. Well, you have both banked a decent amount of money and I'm now going to put another £3,000 into the account. For the first time, you're going to be going head to head and in this round, there's just one pin to find and our teams are playing against each other to try and crack it. And remember, as before, you're back on the buzzer for the chance to take on the cash machine. The team who enter the correct pin will go on to the final and will have the chance to withdraw all the money that they've banked so far. So there's everything to play for. Right, you ready? Yep. yep. Okay, let's play the cash machine. Here we go. Here's your first buzzer question. In 2017, who became the president and vice president of the United States? David. Mike Pence. Mike Pence. Donna. Donald Trump. Donald Trump and Mike Pence. I like the tactic there. <laughs> you have the first opportunity to crack the pin. Get it wrong, though, and you could let Ali and Gemma in. You get 20 seconds to enter the right pin, but as before, the money starts to drain as soon as the question is revealed. The category for this round is... Reality oh. TV. <laughs> David, you're not looking happy. No, I don't like reality TV. Donna? She's on yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> well, he, he watches it with me, so he just thinks he doesn't know, so I think it'll Some be... Some of it might have power of suggestion. seeped in. Mm. Yes. Yeah. You yes. never can tell. <laughs> Shall we have a look at your options? Yes, please. OK, we have... The Island with Bear Grylls. The Apprentice. Made in Chelsea. Big Brother. The Real Housewives of Cheshire. X on the beach, celebs go dating, the only way is Essex, hunted, and first dates. Do you feel a bit better for seeing that, David? No. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Here is your question. Starting with the one you think had the earliest release date, enter in the correct order the first four of these reality shows to be broadcast in the UK. Start the money dream. Um, big Brother, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, apprentice. apprentice. Yep. Um, uh, big Girls. Mm. Money's draining away. Chelsea. Quick, quick, quick. Made in Chelsea. Are you going to run out of time? <laughs> so there we are. You've got Big Brother, The Apprentice, The Island with Bear Grylls and Made in Chelsea. How are you feeling about those choices? Um, mm. First one, I'm confident the rest mm -hmm. of them, no, yeah, no chance. OK, shall we have a look and see how you've got on? So, you think Big Brother was the first one of these reality shows to be broadcast. Is Big Brother correct? <laughs> well done, you're off to a real good start. You were confident about that one, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. What about this one? No. Not so much. Mm. OK. <laughs> well, let's see if The Apprentice is correct. It is. Halfway there. Halfway there, looking good. Right. The Island with Bear Grylls. Is that the right answer? No, it's not, and it's not even there. How about... Made in Chelsea. Yes. So you've 
done pretty well. You've done a lot of the hard work, actually. But of course, we now have to get everybody back on the buzzer. So Ali and Gemma, this is your chance to sneak in. <laughs> Here we go. Which gemstones appear in the title of a 1991 album by Prince? Gemma. Diamond. Ali. Pearl. Diamonds and pearls, absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> There's a few guests. Yes. 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 Pearls, not a stone. <laughs> OK, oh, wow. well, look, David and Donna, I've done a lot of the hard work for you. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of the question. Starting with the one you think had the earliest release date, enter in the correct order the first four of these reality shows to be broadcast in the UK. Start the money drain. Oh, you were right in there with The Only Way is Essex. Are you big fans? Yeah. I have um, a feeling it's been on for longer yeah. than me in Chelsea. It's been on for a long time. Right. If this is correct, you go through to the final with £2,320. If not, David and Donna, you might have another chance. Shall we have a look? Is the only way is Essex correct? Yes! <laughs> well done, well done. You see how this game can go? Ali and Gemma, oh, well done. Yep, yeah, Big Brother actually began in the year 2000. The Apprentice was 2005, Towie was 2010, and Made in Chelsea was a year later, 2011. So well done, you have cracked the pin. <laughs> so there's £2,320 left in the bank. We will add that to the money in your account. That brings you to an impressive total of £4,510. <laughs> but now though, we've got to say bye-bye to David and Donna, which is so sad. You've been fantastic. Thanks really, much. really good players. You did all the hard work. No, I know. Yeah, I was going to have later on. <laughs> <laughs> you did, but did you have a nice time? Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thanks That's so the much. main thing. Thank you so much for being such brilliant players. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So join us after the break when Ali and Gemma will be playing for some serious money when they take on the cash machine for the final time. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists. Back again, Jim. Hi. Mind your back. Don't worry, you'll get the anger that time. Hey, Foxy, I love this game. It's a belter. It gets better. Look here. Our Foxy Fabulous players win over 125 grand on bingo every week. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Foxy Fabulous. Ah. Oh. So you like figuring stuff out? Huh? Come on. Can you solve this? <laughs> yeah. All right, clever clogs. Maybe you're more protective. Try protecting space. Possible satellite breakup. Copy. Or are you chill enough to fly that? Fly that thing. No, this thing. Everyone's got that one thing they were born to do. Find your force in the RAF. When it comes to family, how much do we really have in common? There's big differences, small differences, leave and remain kind of differences. Some are proud, and some are proud of who they've raised. Maybe you have faith or worship at the temple of rock and roll, and you debate your differences over dinner, supper, or tea. Whatever you call it, there's no better time to come together. After all, it's differences that make a family. McCain, we are family. At Co-op, Persil 840ml bio and non-bio detergents were £6, and are now only £2.50. It's what we do. Fosters. With Foster's Family Funeral Directors, you're free to choose the funeral that suits you best. 
Our traditional cremation packages start from just £1,125. Or, if you'd rather not have any fuss at all, you can choose a cremation without a service for only £775. Foster's Family Funeral Directors, with new branches opening all across Scotland. Foster's. What makes a welcome home? Warmth, security, or how about beauty? Inside and out. At Sidey, we know windows are more than just glass. It's about making the most of your space. It's why you can trust our expertise. It's why we offer deposit protection and an insurance-backed guarantee. And with our new flexible finance, you can get a brand new composite door from £28 per month. So make your home a welcome one. Be safe, be secure, be Sidey. The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, Accident Claim Specialists. Welcome back to The Cash Machine, where Ali and Gemma have made it all the way to the final round and they've got the chance to take home all the money in their account. Their current balance is £4,510. How are you both feeling? Oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you two do boxing to de-stress. Yeah, yeah. box yeah. exercise together on a Saturday morning. <laughs> I think that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to find exercise that you love, don't you? Or you won't keep it up. Yeah. But there's something about doing boxing. Do you not find that you can sort of release all your tension? And Ali gets to beat her boss up, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. I think it's a brilliant yeah, idea. It really part. is. It's that thing of it's going to make you feel better. It's going Definitely. to make you feel fit. Yeah. yeah. But it's also it's not just about feeling physically fit. It's about mentally yeah. fit as yeah. well. Yeah. Avoid the, we just avoid the face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, no, absolutely. You don't want to be doing that. So you've got a fantastic amount of money. Four thousand five hundred and ten pounds. There it is. <laughs> what would you spend that on? Do you think? Do you think we go out together yeah. and we'll go shopping. I'm thinking in New York. Yes, yep. New York yeah. would be yeah. <laughs> That would be amazing. I mean, I think, yeah, do something special. Yeah, Absolutely, of mm -hmm. course. Well, let's find out how you can win that cash. Here we go. In a moment, you will face this final pin. You'll take it in turns to answer a series of questions and every answer is a number. The correct answers will reveal each number in the pin. Get them right first time, your balance stays intact at £4,510. But get one wrong, we have to start the money drain. The only way to stop your cash disappearing is to get a question right. So, if you want to win, you have to crack the pin. OK, who's going to go first? Um, I'm going to go first. <laughs> You're going to go first, Ali. Yeah. OK, here's your first question. How many types of cone does the retina of the human eye have? Two. Start the money drain. It became law for all UK drivers to wear a seatbelt in 1980. What? Six. How many times was Tony Blair elected as UK Prime Minister? Three. Three is correct. And you still have £3,675. OK. Gemma, it's down to you. Here's your first question. How many platonic solids are there? One. Start the money drain. How many popes have taken the papal name Sixtus? Four. How many stars appear on the national flag of China? Five. Well done, well done, Gemma. You're halfway through. You've both had a chance to answer. You've still got £3,030. You're doing just fine. OK, two more pin numbers to find. Ali, it's your questions. How many raised dots are there in a full Braille cell? Six. That's right. 
Did you know that? Yeah. I'm taking my hat off to you. So here we go. Gemma, it's all down to this last <laughs> pin number. You've got £3,030 in the bank. Mm. Good luck. Thanks. In Scrabble, how many points would you score for the word cash? Six. No. Start the money drain. How many blue and white stripes appear on the national flag of Greece? Seven. On the Beaufort scale, what wind force is described as a strong gale? Eight. Doctor's orders is a bingo call for which number? Number one. In playing cards, what number of diamonds is called the Curse of Scotland? Three. In Doctor Who, the Doctor's robotic dog companion was called K what? K9. Congratulations, girls. You've won £1,395. Well done, Ali and Gemma. Wow. How are you feeling? Oh, Amazing. Ecstatic. Dude, that is really... I'm so pleased for you. So pleased for you. It's scary, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. Well, Ali and Gemma, step up to the cash machine and withdraw your money. <laughs> Well, I'll see you next time when four more teams will be taking on the cash machine. And remember, if you want to win, you've got to crack the pin. Bye-bye. Well done, ladies. And Lorraine will be back next Sunday at the same time for more code-breaking action. And next on STV and the STV Player, we join Jeremy in the second of our weekend outings of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The Cash Machine, sponsored by Quantum Claims, accident claim specialists.